In this video, we're going to divide mixed numbers with other mixed numbers. Now, I don't know if you saw my previous video on dividing mixed numbers with fractions, but like that video, I'm going to show you two ways of how to divide two mixed numbers. So in the first half of the video, I'm going to show you one technique, and in the second half, I'm going to show you another way of doing it. So one good way to do this problem is to convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. So starting with this one, the first thing we need to do is rewrite the denominator. In this case, it's 4. And then we're going to multiply 8 times 4, which is 32, and then add 3 to it. So that's going to be 35. Now for the one on the bottom, let's do the same thing. 2 times 3 is 6, and then plus 1, which is 7. So we have 35 over 4 divided by 7 over 3. And so we can rewrite this as 35 over 4 divided by 7 thirds. And using keep change flip, we can keep the first fraction the same, and then change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. 35, we can write that as 7 times 5. And so notice that we can cancel a 7. And so we're left with 5 times 3, which is 15, divided by 4. This now becomes a 1. Now the last thing we need to do is convert 15 over 4 into a mixed number. So 15 is basically 12 plus 3. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 3 plus 3 fourths, it's 3 and 3 fourths. And so this is the final answer as a mixed number. Now let's move on to our second example. And so that's 9 and 5 6 divided by 3 and 4 over 5. If you want to try it, feel free. So let's convert each mixed number into an improper fraction, just as we did in the last problem. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 5, that's going to be 59. And then 5 times 3 is 14, I mean not 14, but 15. And 15 plus 4 is 19. So we have 59 over 6 divided by 19 over 5. Now using keep change flip, we can write it as 59 over 6 times 5 over 19. And so let's multiply across. What is 59 times 5? 50 times 5 is 250, and 9 times 5 is 45. So 250 plus 45 is going to be 295. And then 6 times 19. Well, 6 times 20 is 120. So you got to take away 6. That becomes 114. So now let's convert 295 over 114 into a mixed number. So I'm going to use long division. 114 goes into 295 two times. 114 times 2 is 228. And now we need to subtract. So 295 minus 228, that's 67. So this is equal to 267 over 114. And that's the final answer as a mixed number. Now let's work on our third example. 12 and 2 thirds divided by 3 and 1 fourth. So let's convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. So here we have 12 times 3, which is 36, and then plus 2, so that's going to be 38. And on the bottom, we have 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1, and so that's 13. And so we have 38 over 3 divided by 13 over 4. And so let's rewrite it as 38 over 3 times 4 over 13. 
and now let's multiply across. So 38 times 4. That's going to be 152. And 3 times 13. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 3 is 9. So this is going to be 39. So we have 152 over 39. Now let's use long division. How many times does 39 go into 152? Well, let's make a list. 39 plus 39, that's going to be 78. And then if we add 78 plus 39, that's 117. And then 117 plus 39 is 156. 156 exceeds 152. So 39 goes into 152 three times. 39 times 3 is 117. And then 152 minus 117 is 35. So this improper fraction is equal to 3 and 35 over 39. So that's the final answer for the third example. Now let's go over the first problem using another method. And so with this method, we're going to convert the mixed number. We're going to write it as a whole number plus a fraction. So 2 and 1 third is basically 2 plus 1 third. And so we have a complex fraction, and now we need to simplify it. To simplify the complex fraction, we need to get rid of the smaller fractions within the larger fraction. And the best way to do that is to multiply the top and the bottom by the common denominator of those two fractions. The common denominator will be 3 times 4, which is 12. So let's distribute the 12. 8 times 12. 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 2 is 16. So 80 plus 16 is 96. Therefore, 8 times 12 is 96. And then 3 fourths times 12. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 fourths of 12 is 9. Here we have 2 times 12, which is 24, and 1 third of 12, or 12 divided by 3, that's going to be 4. 96 plus 9, that's 105, and 24 plus 4 is 28. So this is what we now have. Both 105 and 28, they're divisible by 7. 105 is 7 times 15. 28 is 7 times 4. And so this gives you 15 over 4. Now, using long division, 4 goes into 15 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3. So this becomes 3 and 3 fourths as a mixed number. So this 3 is the same as this one. And this 3, the remainder, goes on top. And as you know, the 4 stays the same on the bottom. Now let's move on to the second example. Go ahead and use the second method to get the same answer. And that is 2 and 67 over 114. So 9 and 5 over 6. We're going to write it as 9 plus... 5 over 6, and the other one we're going to write it as 3 plus 4 over 5. So 6 times 5 is 30. So we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 30 to eliminate all of the small fractions. So what is 9 times 30? We know that 9 times 3 is 27. So 9 times 30 has to be 270. And then we have 5 6 of 30. So 30 divided by 6 is 5, and 5 times the 5 on top, that's 25. On the bottom, we have 3 times 30, which is 90, and then 4 fifths of 30. So 30 divided by 5 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. So 4 fifths of 30 is 24. Now 270 plus 25 is 295 and then 
90 plus 24 is 114. So let's use long division at this point. One fourteen goes into two ninety five two times. One fourteen times two is two twenty eight, and then two ninety five minus two twenty eight is sixty seven. So here we have the two, and here is the sixty seven. So that's the final answer for the second example, and you can repeat the same procedure for the third example. So. I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching.